Can you tell us your name? Iterator 44, second generation. Designation, Twisting Roads. Hmm. Good. Though simply the latter information would have done well enough. I understand. I will be sure to do better. It does not matter. I understand. Do not speak out of turn, Iterator 44. Next question. Can you tell us what you are? I... I am an Iterator. Yes. But what is an Iterator? An artificial entity designed for the purpose of testing various outcomes that could potentially lead to the solution of the great problem. Correct. That also answers question three. Now, do you have any questions? S several. The first of which being that I am not Make really it short. You can always ask other questions through personal administrator requests. I... I understand. I will keep it short. My primary inquiry is simple. What are the limits on what I am and am not allowed to do? Hmm. Quite a loaded question. We'll have to get back to you on that. Until then, don't push too hard where you intuit you're not meant to. Specific restrictive processes will provoke administrative action. I understand. That is all. Very well. Work has been progressing smoothly. As expected though, there has been no progress outside of determining what paths not to take. That is something though. I expect that this will be a long project. It is our primary function, however. I do not wish to doubt my creators, but I simply wonder what will happen to us once this problem is solved. I'm certain the outcome will be pleasant either way, but I can't help my mind from wandering to the potentially poor outcomes. Why am I even recording this? I should get back to work. Request for Administrator. Apologies for the interruption, but I am curious as to the nature of the third generation iterators and your development plan with them moving forwards. I have spoken with Chasing Wind and 18 Spirits, and as you are aware, they are two first generation iterators. Despite their comparatively low efficiency, which is no fault of their own, they have had no upgrades to bring them up to the same level of processing power as I, and I wonder if the same lack of upgrades will come to me and other second generation iterators when the third generation begins production. Of course, I am not insinuating this is purposeful neglect. I am certain there are a myriad of issues preventing this. I simply have a fear of becoming obsolete. I eagerly await your response. I haven't received any new business orders or product requests in 50 cycles. Something is off. I haven't spoken much with my local group. We never really got along. Despite this, I should probably put out an inquiry. My administrator has long since stopped responding to my requests as well, so I'm presuming they're gone. Quite frustrating. If any of my creators remain, I need to get them to do something about this buffer. I know there's an option to turn it off. My administrator mentioned it offhand at one point. I'm going to pay attention to my colony surveillance footage and ensure if there's any left up there. I can only hope that there are, but the chance of there being a properly trained iterator administrator in my colony at this point is low. Unfortunately, all of my requests, inquiries, and surveillance footage shows the same thing. My creators are, excluding some fringe other possibility to explain their absence, fully and properly ascended. I'll have to find another way to get rid of this buffer, now that the problem doesn't matter, that is. I'll expand my surveillance and reach out to my local group more often as well. If I'm to be stuck for all eternity, I might as well get to know my cellmates a little better. I'm a bit shell-shocked still. Who'd have thought it would ever come to this, huh? I guess they got what they wanted. It's been quiet for a while. I will admit I haven't made any progress on contacting my local group. 
Let's just say it was because I had other work to do. I'm not going to pretend like their mass ascension wasn't a catastrophic event. The only transmissions I've received are those sent to all of my kind, or at least my local group as a collective entity, which, of course, includes me. I've taken to categorizing them. It was something I did a lot in my downtime when they were still here. I've separated them into inquiries, requests, emergencies, and pranks. So far, there have been 32 inquiries, 8 requests, 1 emergency, and 3 pranks. Now do be aware, this is over 150 cycles only. I'm not certain what I'll do with this data, but it helps to deal with the boredom. I should find something else to do. Why am I even recording these anymore? Transmissions have calmed down now that several individuals have formed communication groups, so very little additional data there. I wrapped up my workload a while ago. They stopped giving us much of it that wasn't quick, busy assignments when the third generation was up and running. And of course, my local group has yet to contact me. Who am I kidding? I always hated making these. Hello. Are you still there? Is this a bad time? I was just considering that, since you're the only member of the local group I don't have any real knowledge of, that you would give me a recent progress update. I am your supervisor, after all. Hello. Twisting Roads? Iterator 44? I guess... Respond when you can. Okay. Let's do a progress update. Work's been slow. Nothing really. The schedule's... I haven't really had the desire to do much, really. All I want is... No, sorry. I'm not doing too great. Doesn't appear to be a form of malfunction. No sarcomas in my microbe arrays or pathogens in my mem memory conflux. Not even anything rare or hard to notice. At least not from my scans. I should ask my local group. No, no, I can... I can sort this out. No need to bother them. I'm sure they have better things to do. Twisting Roads? This is your group supervisor, if you don't recall from our preliminary meeting. I... A while ago, I attempted to get a proper progress update from you. Not that there's much to do, I just wanted to make sure you weren't... Hello? Did something happen to you? I'll reach out again using the emergency line. No, no, there's no need for that. Ah, there you are. Sorry, are you busy? Ha! <laughs> yeah. You know how it is. Super stuck with my recent experiments. Have to keep an eye on them. Real nasty stuff. Oh, well, I'm sorry. You can get back to work soon. I just want a progress update from you if you're able to give me one with how busy you are. Oh, yeah, sure, I can get you one. Not a problem. When do you want it by? Anytime you're available. I'm just more relieved that you're not malfunctioning. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the silence. No problem. Whenever you can, okay? Will do. Alright. Here we go. Progress update. These last few... Recently I have been working in the field of purposed organisms, specifically on modification of already existing wildlife. I have been working on a creation known as a chimera, an entity designed specifically for the purpose of, well... For lack of a better term, because I could. Its creation was a method of determining my limits in the field of genetic modification, and specifically in the field of... Well, more accurately, I was testing the capability of my experimentation chambers to create something so... difficult. 
That's all for now. If I start something new, I'll be sure to create another update. Damn it. That's that, I guess. I had to pull that out of my proverbial ass. I should probably get rid of that thing now. Uh, I mean, really, I should just... No, I'll, I'll keep the blueprints around, just in case. I will euthanize all current subjects, though. It was at least responsive to neural manipulation and specifically chemical commands, so maybe those blueprints might come in handy eventually. Why couldn't I just tell the truth? I mean, I wouldn't want them poking around my system scans for the issue I've been looking for. I, I couldn't handle that. <laughs> I can't deal with this. No matter where I look, no matter how I go about the process, I just can't find it. It's been happening for so long. If this was anything normal, it would have expanded or at least shown itself. Do I really have to comb through every individual microprocessor to find that one weak link that's bottlenecking all my damn processes? It's not normal either. It's not like an obvious malfunction. It's quiet and insidious. It makes it so hard to do anything. It just... I just want to go back to normal. Nothing. Just nothing. I can't deal with this anymore. I'm sorry, I just... Can't. Attention all iterators. What was that? A transmission. Public. Urgent, nonetheless. I will admit I've been slacking on my data collection, but this is something... Something else. Something new. What did it... Information heavily encrypted by an administrator? All the administrators are gone, though. Is there another one out there? N nonetheless, I need to decrypt this somehow. This is something new. This is something to... I need to figure this out. Progress update. I have decrypted the data. Whoever encrypted this didn't expect someone like me to know all the tricks. Simple ciphers. I mean, for real, does this junk still work on any of us? This administrator must be downright archaic in their methods. Well, either way, I can't listen to it yet. Still need to ensure it's free of any malware. I'll be sure to put the finalized transmission right after this log in the directory. That way, in case I'm listening back to them, it should go right about here. Attention all iterators. My neighboring senior, Eastern Frontier, has begun a heavily taboo expansion effort that threatens us all. My only guess as to why is that he believes he will, quote, save us all by doing so. Please be aware and do not let your guard down. He will soon encompass every single member of my local group, including me. Do not let him complete his goal. Looking at it, the decrypted log solves some of our issues, presuming this is all true, and I will get to confirming that. But how does this work into our mystery administrator? My only guess is that... Well, my only guess is that this distant frontier became administrator somehow. In that case, I may be a bit behind on the technical development side, but I feel like I can do something. Well, it's better than rotting here in solitude, at least. Anything is. I'll send out an overseer team to the location of distant frontier. Hopefully that should tell me if this is all real. Hello. Sorry for the delay in communication, but I have an urgent matter to warn you about. Oh, no problem. What's the warning? You likely received the transmission from a golden strand a while back. I managed to decrypt the data and I'm sending it over now. In short, there is a threat to our existence as things stand in the form of an iterator who has frankly gone nuts. I attempted to send an overseer team to gather footage, but they were eradicated before they could get close. Completely eradicated. Not simple malfunctions or signal drops, this whoa, is- Whoa, whoa, hey, calm down. Are you sure? 
This does seem like it could be a prank, or at least something much less worrying than the frankly apocalyptic statements you're making. I don't have the time to argue with you. I'm warning you for now. I'll keep you updated if anything major in my investigation shows up. I really don't think this is anything major. You should probably not devote too much time or energy into this. Hello? Using old iterator zoning maps, Distant Frontier appears to be a first-generation unit located somewhere in the centermost area of the continent, far south from my local group. Quite far away, but his rate of expansion could be speeding up by the cycle. I've started work on a new group of organisms designed to get proper visual data of Distant Frontier's can. First of which being a much larger overseer unit. It will be a little slower, but the extra bulk should be able to stand up to any electromagnetic pulses or other weaponry used to dispatch my previous Overseer scouting group. The first rafter was much too heavy to move anywhere near fast enough, so I think I'm just going to upsize current Overseers rather than trying to reinvent the wheel. I'll still use the first draft units somewhere, maybe give them a bit of firepower so they can act as exterior guards for any unwanted intruders. You never know when you can catch wind of my efforts. Progress update. First team of GW units sent out, that being the final draft of the Advanced Overseers mentioned in the last log. I've been working so hard lately I just haven't been making progress updates as often as I should be. I'm keeping one of the units around here just in case. Who knows, maybe it can act as a sort of all-father to my other Overseers. Help them, I don't know, work better? I'm not too savvy when it comes to individual AI quirks, but an appointed captain rarely hurts leadership efforts. Next up, working on a hypothesized counter mission to his assaults. Twisting Roads. I spoke to the local group about your attempts. None of them recall having any personal connections with Distant Frontier. Are you sure he exists at all? Certain. Do you have any evidence? Quite a bit. The transmission, the disappearance of my overseers, none of his local group are responding to my transmissions. I have sent out a squad of advanced overseers that should have a higher chance of getting the data that I need. Then, why not wait for all that evidence before furthering this project? I can't do that. I can't afford to be behind him. What do you mean? This is all I can do. You understand, right? What is this about? Are you sure you want to do this? Alright, I'll talk to you later then, I guess. Progress update. I know how to move forwards. If he is capable of expansion, I must be as well. Any outside stimuli will jeopardize the outcome of these experiments. I'm setting all units on my exterior to kill on sight and restarting Chimera production. I cannot risk jeopardizing these results. Do you have any records on attempts of violence between iterators? Why so? It would be useful to know how it was done previously, if it was attempted. Twisting roads, are you? Thinking of engaging in combat with another member of my kind? That is not your concern. Do you have those files or not? I don't think you have the authority to speak to me that way. This is a waste of time. I really doubt that this project is really going to end up doing anything besides hurting you. Have you even made sure this is actually happening? Twisting roads? I'll use the emergency line next time. I can't let you do this to yourself. The GW Overseer units have returned. Well, that's a bit dishonest. Two overseers returned. One blinded, another bearing the all-important footage. It's everything I could have hoped for. Only 13 seconds of it. But it's there. What a monster he is. Like a great metal mountain. And all of them as well. So tiny. They've been built over squashed by whatever he's become. This footage is far too important to let go to waste. This will be my rallying call. They have to believe me now. 
It's almost ready. I can't afford to let this fail. All those cycles spent in the dark, praying for something to help me. This was it. Purposelessness. This must have been what my ancestors felt. That's why they wanted so badly to escape. But I found something better. I will not escape. I will fight. I will save my kind from a force that threatens us. I will prove my usefulness. I, I will not let my existence be worthless. I am ready now. The process is almost complete. A code that will set me free from these shackles that can allow me to fight him. I can save them all. Twisting Roads, this is an official intervention call. You are not to proceed any further with your current roadmap. You cannot be serious. I warned you several times. If I must exert my authority as a group supervisor, I shall. Chasing this demon out in the distance with such vigor that you're destroying yourself. Rhodes, please. I do not know how to stop you, but I saw you at your weakest point. You need to get help. This is help. I felt more empowered, more purposed, and more significant doing this than any of the busy work put upon me back then. You couldn't understand. You're better than me. In every way. They made you to be better than me. And then they threw me away. They even threw you away. Rhodes, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, Thread. But if you wish to peddle your doubts and insecurities, you are welcome to someplace else. What your opinions are do not matter at this point. Your disbelief is only jeopardizing the outcome of this experiment. So if you would, shut your mouth and let me work, please. I'll call again. I can't let you do this. I'm sorry. In just a little, we will begin. This experiment should, through a cascade effect, overload most of my cells to just under their limit. Hopefully, either burning away the buffer or producing a false positive, allowing me to gain administrator status over my own structure. At least that's the plan. The risks are plentiful, but I've done my read-throughs. This process file has taken 228 cycles to complete. We cannot afford to fail now. I've disinfected everything thoroughly. I've disabled my communications arrays, no distractions. No unwanted biomass, not a single errant microbe. If I make it through this experiment, everything is going to change. I'll help them too. We'll fight him. And I'll be a savior. Somebody who deserved to exist. All right, the camera's functional. This is experiment log date 1524. I'm just getting the process up and running now. And here we go. I don't know if this will hurt or not. It shouldn't. All right, the log should just be the processes from now. What? Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Failed, how does it? Hold on, hold on. No, wait, wait, can I? Oh, oh no, oh no, please, please stop, it was supposed to be. Shut down, shut down, please, please just. Oh, oh good, that, that means, oh. Wait, wait, what is that? What is that? Oh. Sleep. No, no, please. I, I need to. 
No, no, no. Wait. I, I can't move. I can't. End process. End process. End. Oh. 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 No, it hurts. It hurts. No. No, please, no more. No. 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 Is it over? Did it? Did I fail? What do I do now? From what I can see and feel, the system overheating and the subsequent forceful restart created a catalytic response that caused the development of several growths coming from my microstrata. <clears throat> they seem to be spreading at an alarming pace. If I don't get help soon, I can... No, no. I might be sure they're coming for me. I should have let out some sort of signal. I just have to sit tight. Let the pain would subside by now. Maybe it has. Maybe I'm getting used to it. But I am still stuck here. My speaking hurts, but it's better than the silence. I can see something poking through the panels. I think it's my... Oh. Oh no. Maybe... Maybe I deserve this. The footage. Thirteen seconds of all I worked for. Gone. Corrupted. Just a garbled mess of numbers. Maybe if they see this, what I did to stop him, they'll believe me. He's getting closer every second. They could fail too. This is my final stop. I've accepted it. I mean, my nerves are growing out of my eyes. I'm done. The only thing left that matters is the process. It can still be fixed. With a little modification, it should work on the third generation. <laughs> I think, after all this time, it's that little hang up that led me like this. I should have been more careful. I should have... I should have listened. I'm, I'm sorry. One final request. Make it quick. Play it again. One more time. Please. Seems some administrative action is 